All right, everyone, I want to take some time just to review uh, some things from last semester. They're really critical pieces of uh, proportional relationships, and that is this idea of constant of proportionality. And so I'm going to write down a few of our forms, and then we're going to look at uh, some of it in a table as well. So if I have an equation that's in the correct form for the constant of proportionality there, it looks like y equals kx. And k is the constant, right? That is my constant of proportionality. And that can be found in a couple of ways. If I have an equation, I can pull it right out of the equation. That's my constant. So for example, if I have y equals 3x, then k equals 3. If I had an equation that was this, y equals 1 fourth x, then k equals 1 fourth. Okay, those are proportional relationships, and that's the constant proportionality. If I had something else, like for example, y equals 2x plus 1, it looks like this would be the constant of proportionality, but it's actually called something slightly different. It's called a rate of change or a slope. And we call that something slightly different. So that is not proportional. So it doesn't have a constant of proportionality. Okay. Now finding that thing, right? let's look at this as a simple fundamental mathematical relationship. If y equals kx, okay? Just like, let's say, 12 equals 4 times 3. So 12 is y, 4 is k, 3 is x. If that's true, then 12 divided by 4 must be 3. That has to be the case if that's true. Also, 12 divided by 3 must be 4. Those are true, always true mathematically. So let's apply the same logic here. If y equals k times x, then that means that y divided by x gives me k, and y divided by k gives me x. So if I needed to find this value, I would divide y and k. If I needed to find this value, I divide y and x. And keep in mind, too, that um, our division, in general, we are starting to use, I'm using this symbol to sort of demonstrate it as I do it verbally, but division is a fraction. So each of these would be listed as 12 over 3, 12 over 4, y over x, and you'll see that in a moment. Okay, so some beginning fundamental pieces. Let's look at this in a table. Okay, so if I was going to look at this, for example, pull this up here. Okay, here's a table. Okay, here's a table. And I have some x values and some y values. 2, 6, 3, 9, 4, 12. It looks like um, we have this uh, increase of 3 every time. And we can find the, that multiplier, 2 times 3, 3 times 3, 4 times 3. So this one's fairly straightforward. So we're going to look at this, though, in three columns. Right? What is y divided by x produce? And if it's the same every time, it's a constant. Okay? Then it's the constant proportionality, and it's a constant uh, proportional relationship. We can say that this is yes if it's proportional and we can write an equation. If it's no and it's not proportional and we're not going to write an equation for it today but we will later. So 12 divided by 4, let's just work our way up, 3. 9 divided by 3, 3. 6 divided by 2, 3. In other words, all of these are 3. So that means that this here has to be 3. In other words, 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, 3 times 4. 
Each one of these is produced by multiplying this by the constant. So is it proportional? We would say yes. And what's the equation? Well, if k equals 3 and y equals kx, then the equation for this is y equals 3x. That's my equation. All right, let's look at another table, another example. And we're going to set it up the same way, although it might not be quite as obvious. Okay, because we're going to look at some decimals. So here's my x value, here's my y value. Okay. Um, 20 times 4 is 5. Um, or sorry, 5 times 4 is 20. So our inclination is to say that this is 4, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill in some of our missing values. But it's y divided by x, which is really important. So y divided by x is not 4, it's actually 1 fourth. And 2 and 25 hundredths divided by 9 is 1 fourth. So this is starting to look like a constant of proportionality. That's 1 fourth. That means that if this has to be 1 fourth, then that means what do you divide by to get that? 1 fourth to get that 1. So that means there. And if you'll notice, this is the unit rate, and that's the same row with the constant. So the row that has an x value of 1 will give you the constant of proportionality. The same was true up here. The row that had a 1 also had my constant. Okay, So is it proportional? In this case, we would say yes. And what's the equation? So in this case, k equals 1 fourth. So that means that y equals 1 fourth x. You can also write it as y equals 0 0.25, 25 hundredths x. Okay. All right, and the final example that we're going to do here is this one right here. Okay. I'm going to pull this up a little bit so it's back near the top. Okay. So here we go. Let's start putting this together. So you look at this, 8, 11, 14, 7 are my outputs. Those are my y values. So increase 3, increase 3, increase 3. This looks pretty constant, right? I like this so far. So let's do our check, y divided by x. So if I take 17 and divide 17 divided by 5, I get 3 and 4 tenths. And 14 divided by 4 is 3 and 5 tenths. Ooh, this isn't looking right. 11 divided by 3 is 3.67, or 3 and 2 thirds, actually, because it's a repeating decimal. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. Ooh, that is not constant. Each time, my quotient changes. So is it proportional? That is a no. It is not proportional. And so at this point, we cannot write an equation because we haven't figured that part out yet. We haven't got to the point to how do we write an equation that has a constant rate of change. Um, however, I could fill in some more of the table. Decrease 3, decrease 3, decrease 3, and I keep decreasing 1. So it makes sense that this would be a 5. That does make sense, and it kind of makes sense that that would be a 2. But that's not something we have to do right now. What we have to be able to do is determine if it's proportional. And in determining that, we find the constant of proportionality. And then we can write our equation, and we can do that all that from a table. And we can also do much of that from equations and expressions.